Alright, so I wanted to check out YouTube's response. Uh, YouTube's basic video explain explaining the dislike removal. I've made no uh, hints or uh, passes at, at hiding that I am not pro removing the public dislike count. I am entirely against it, but I'll just I'll just put it in category like how the good things. It's good to help content creators improve. It helps in the algorithm, so even if you don't like being given criticism for whatever reason, it helps push your video in the algorithm. Uh, additionally, it's how people voice their disdain to larger corporations and uh, certain political uh, parties and videos. I'm not a political channel. I'm not going to get into that, but I'm just saying that's how people voice their their discontent with with governments, with uh, corporations, with shady content creators, and mass dislike campaigns don't hurt anybody. Like they might hurt some content creators, fifis, but that's I'm sorry, but we can't live in this world where where criticism is silenced. Criticism is a good thing. Criticism is how you get better. It's how you improve. And yes, some people are assholes about their criticism, but it's better to get that criticism in and learn and improve than to then to live in an echo chamber where you don't ever hear how you can improve and i guess that's the best way i can summarize it dislikes are a good thing and removing them to me is not pro creator it's pro corporation it's pro certain governmental things i'm not getting into it's it's pro big things it's pro it's pro silencing dissent that uh, it's it's silencing criticism. It's silencing voices. It's silencing it's silencing viewers. Uh, but yep, I have not seen this video, however, discussing the dislikes uh, and or or YouTube directly, I guess, addressing it. So um, I think it's only fair to hear them out. Hear uh, hear what their side of it is. So let's let's be that. Let's be fair. Let's be fair. Maybe they address some of my issues with it. Oh wow. <laughs> I mean. I'll remove this if the guy has good points, but I'll stick by that. I'll leave that dislike. I already don't think I'm going to agree with what this guy has to say. Of course. Hey, folks. You may have seen a while back that YouTube announced it was experimenting with making dislike counts private to only the creator of the video. Now, if you're like me, you were surprised by that. I mean, I've always thought seeing the number of dislikes on a video helps us know as viewers if it's a good video or not if it's a exactly. helpful tutorial or not. Exactly. Or what a creator is, is saying in their video is generally agreed with or not. But unfortunately, yeah. research teams at YouTube have found there's this whole other use for disliking a video that I had never experienced as a creator and you may not have either. Wait, who is this guy? Apparently groups this of YouTube rep. are targeting a video's dislike button to drive up the count turning it into something like a, a, a game with a visible scoreboard. And it's usually just because they don't like the creator or what they stand for. And that's fine. And the, I, hold on. Is this guy trying to phrase that as a bad? Now listen, I'm not saying that dislike campaigns don't exist. They absolutely do. But if, unless there's a, some legitimate criticism and legitimate reason behind it, those kinds of movements don't make get much traction. Like if if it's, I, I'd say the exception to that would be like if a larger content creator is in a feud with a smaller content creator, right? And they're getting on each other's nerves. You know, they're they're fighting against one another. They're they're if there's like something like that going on, and then one community goes over and dislikes the other way more. But even then, that's not like a targeted dislike campaign. That's one audience fighting another. And even then, it, what's the problem with it? Because at that point, the creator knows it's not because the video is bad. It's because he's in a feud with a larger content creator. So what? It pushes the video in the algorithm. It's getting interacted with. It's only a net positive for the creator. On both sides. Hell, that's how entire YouTube channels go from having like 1,000, 2,000 subs to almost a million. Lots of, lots of large YouTubers today owe their success... To mass mass dislike campaigns and fight and getting into a feud with a larger creator, yeah. Because with all those dislikes, yeah, you're getting a lot of criticism, getting a lot of people saying horrible stuff to you in the comment section. But in the same time, you're getting a lot of people who don't like that other content creator subbing to your channel. And by the time the smoke clears, all the people wasting their time disliking the videos will eventually go away. They don't care. 
when the drama dies down, and what you're left with is more subs than you had before and people who like your content. Again, it's a net positive. Where the, where the hell? I'm sorry, but if, even if we take that business side of it out and the algorithm completely out of the equation, it's how is it still a... How, I, listen, I, I don't get this. I don't get this. How many small creators... How many? I want I want an honest answer to this, and no one can answer it. To be fair, but I think we all know the answer. I think we all I think we all have an idea of what the answer is. How many small creators are getting dislike campaigns? If you're if you're a content creator with a thousand subs, how many people are dedicating time to disliking your content? One, maybe two, if we include a bot. This only affects larger creators, and I'm not saying larger creators don't deserve any kind of protection. They do. But it's not really protection. There's there's nothing evil being done. It's dislikes. It's not physically hurting you. It's people voicing that they don't like you or your video. Yeah, that's fine. It's called criticism. People, it, it, it's been a mechanic on YouTube for years. It's never been a bad thing. Like I, I I I just I don't understand that being a logic. Like oh they're 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 attacking creators with dislike. How is that an attack? Oh no, a video got dislikes. Whatever shall I do? Listen, if you're if if a dislike makes you like tear teary eyed and sad, get off YouTube. And I'm not saying that to be a dick, but get off of it. You're not built for this. You're not built for content creation. And listen, this is not coming from someone who's not ever affected by dislikes. Nah. I've I've had bad days where I look at a dislike on a, look at a video that got a little bit more dislikes than usual, and I'm like, why? Yeah, I admit that, but it's a, I also acknowledge I can be a bit of a bitch sometimes, but I get over it. I shrug it off. I let it go. And on a normal day, I'm expecting dislikes. Every video on YouTube will have at least one. At least one. It's normal. It's part of the climate. And they're not a bad thing that's not how that's not how I I, I I could rant at hours just at that one point but let's keep going that's a big problem when half of YouTube why is to give everyone a voice Th so they're not being denied a voice what oh, oh, okay let me ask you this dumbass when has a dislike equaled silence it pushes the video in the fucking algorithm. Their voice is getting heard more. What the fuck are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? You moron. It pushes the shit in the algorithm. It doesn't suppress speech. Neither does being mean to somebody. I'm sorry, but if someone calls you an asshole in a video game, you're not silenced. Respond back! Call him a dick! It's the same exact concept. Oh, I'm gonna leave a dislike. That silences the creator. No, it fucking doesn't! It doesn't do anything like that. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. So, earlier in 2021, YouTube experimented with making the public dislike count private to see if it would help reduce these coordinated dislike attacks across the platform. And after analysis, they did see a reduction. So, the update from YouTube is that the dislike button is staying, but Wait, the dislike oh. to see 2021, YouTube experimented with making the public dislike count private to see if it would help reduce these coordinated dislike attacks okay. across the platform. And after analysis, they did see a reduction. Yeah, no shit, because the point of the dislikes is that the, that it's, again, it's a cool... Okay, hold on. So we, the problem with that research is, how do you quantify... How do you quantify what's a targeted campaign and what's just a video getting a lot of dislikes because people don't like it? And that's the first thing I have to ask. How, how do you defer? How do you defer the two? How, how do you defer whether a content creator is just getting a lot of dislikes because they made a shitty video... And, <laughs> and and a quote-unquote targeted campaign of hate on a corporation that probably posted, like Blizzard, for example, that posted a shitty video 
acting like everything's all fine and dandy while being a shitty company. How do you defer the two? It's based on opinion at that point, is it not? So, uh, in f- <laughs> from the get-go, your research is fucking flawed. Your research is on the premise of opinion. Unless you, unless you, uh, by quantifiable, you see some co- some comments going, "All right, guys, let's get the dislikes up. Come on, guys." Or you go on Twitter and there's people saying, "Hey, dislike this video, dislike this video." And even then, yeah, there's so much else you have to calculate. How much is those posts and those comments getting traction with other people? How many people are actually clicking on the links? Can you even test for that? There's so much about this that I have to ask this big fat question of how did they come to these conclusions? Where's their statistic data? I want to see this shit. Maybe it was on the website. I'll check for it la- uh, later, but. For now, I'm assuming that they're not going to share that because I don't think they actually quantified it. Uh, that research is from the get-go flawed. But it, but even outside that, okay, even outside that, how? Uh, okay, I'm, I'm gonna rant. I'm gonna rant. Keep going. Production. So the update from YouTube is that the dislike button is staying, but the dislike counts will now be private. You can still dislike videos and that action will be used to tune your own recommendations, but you won't be able to see the dislike count. Only the creator can find it on the back end. Which defeats the fucking purpose! On Twitter, you guys said the reason you were doing this was to help small creators. From what, I don't know, I guess be criticized, but then there's this big fat part of it. This is big fat part of it, you morons! If they could still see the dislikes and the dislikes somehow hurt them, somehow silence their voice, how does it change if they could still see it? <laughs> You're full of shit! <laughs> oh my god, that's stupid. And if they want. Now, a few common questions we saw from the initial experiment. Okay, come on. First, Without a public dislike count, how can viewers tell if a video is worth watching? Again, I kind of have this question too, but it turns out that while viewers might use the dislike count to give them a sense of a video's worth, a when new the recruit looked at has the blessed our company. Across millions Thank of you to Marcos for subscribing. The experiment, they didn't see a noticeable difference in viewership, regardless of whether they could see the dislike count or not. In other words, it didn't really matter if a video had a lot of dislikes or not, they still watched. Next common question. Okay. Okay, hold on. If you click on a video, you add to the view count. So no shit that if someone clicks on a video, sees the dislike and likes and clicks off, they still add to the... Unless, unless... Okay, to be fair. To be fair. He might be talking about, like, people who have, like, apps and stuff. Like, I have... Certain things on YouTube that allow me to see, like, the analytics and stuff of, like, other content creators. Like, I can see that. I can see the ratio of like to dislike on a percentage on every video I click on. I can see that before I even click on a video. But most people, at least that I've talked to, don't have that. Unless you're a content creator, that doesn't really do you all that many, all that much good. Most people click on the video, therefore add to the view count. So no shit, they didn't see a difference. The same people who saw... Oh my god! Okay. That is entirely dependent on what he's talking about. He's not specifying, so I'm going to assume my direct impression is correct. Which is... That the people who click to see the like-to-dislike ratio added to the view count. So in either sense, in either way, they still add to the overall view count. So no shit, there was no reduction. No shit. Again, unless he's talking about people with apps and stuff and Chrome extensions that allow them to see percentages and not click on the video and therefore not add to the view count, therefore using that assumption that the video's views were not affected and the the content creator's livelihood wasn't affected, you, I really, this video needed to be more than three minutes if he's going to specify that. You need to quantify what you're talking about. Otherwise, this is just full of shit. <laughs> if creators can still see the dislike count on the back end, how's that any different? 
They can see it if they look for it inside Studio Analytics under the Engagement tab. But overall, it's much less likely to cause stress and embarrassment if the count isn't visible to the public. And one more common question, is this because YouTube re You're a content creator, it's part of the job. It's part of the fucking job. You're a public figure. You're criticized publicly. It comes with the trade. Grow a fucking spine. Why is this so hard to understand? Oh, we want to avoid stress and embarrassment. If you're stressing over a couple people disliking your video, get off the platform! I'm not saying it to be a dick. I'm saying the part, part of the gig is taking criticism. People are not nice about criticism 99% of the fucking time. No shit! <laughs> what am I even listening to? <laughs> oh. Yeah, exactly. So, so seeing yourself is not a problem. Oh, so if I, am I the only one who sees it? Therefore, the stress and anxiety doesn't exist. But the public seeing it, oh well, I'm embarrassed. People know my video wasn't amazing. What? <laughs> this platform is being led by idiots. Rewind got lots of dislikes. No. Although there are some teams internally who have learned the hard way what it feels like to get lots of dislikes. Now, this again is about protecting all creators and making sure they have a chance to succeed and feel safe in doing so. All right, so that's the update. I hope it doesn't cause too much frustration. Honestly, I think you're gonna get used to it pretty quickly and keep in mind other platforms don't even have a dislike button. Oh, so. not that's a non sequitur. That's a non sequitur. Those platforms, I, and I think I know which ones he's talking about, such as something like Instagram, which oh, you can only like a video, you can only like a, a photo or a video or something if you're scrolling through your timeline on Instagram. Yeah, you can only like. On Twitter, you can only leave a heart, or you, if you want to leave something negative, you have to comment or retweet. Or uh, retweet with comment. But there's only like. Though The difference fucking is, those platforms were made from the get-go without a review system. The point is, it's a non sequitur. YouTube has always had the dislike, whereas those other platforms have not always had a dislike ability. They've always had only a like system. That's why that that's how that works. They haven't had to remove a dislike. They haven't had to remove people giving criticism. YouTube is removing it. That's the difference. They never had dislikes to begin with. <sighs> Consider that. Thank you, and I hope you're well. This is so stupid. This is, it's also so thinly veiled why they're doing this. It's for corporations. It's for large creators. It's for, it's for the larger entities. It's not for the common day YouTuber. It's not, certainly not for someone like me. I'm a tiny ass content creator, okay? I'm tiny. I'm fine with that, but I'm a tiny creator, and I'm a good example. I've, I've had videos get more dislikes than likes. Was I embarrassed? No. Was I stressed? No. Annoyed? Yes, was annoyed. But that's <laughs> as far as it went. This is such horseshit. This is such horseshit. I'm sorry. I hope nobody buys this line of bullshit. I mean, it doesn't look like it. It looks like the vast majority of people are are smelling the shit. But this is this is just <sighs> it. It's worse. It's worse hearing them try and justify it. Just just be honest, YouTube. Stop with this cloak and daggers bullshit. Just just say it. We're doing this to protect corporations and governments from being criticized. Say that and leave it at that. Just be fucking honest. I hate this cloak and dagger crap. I really do. I hate this cloak and dagger crap so much. I just don't understand it. I really, it's, 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 it's more frustrating and stressful to see YouTube try and justify the crap. Dislike campaigns exist? Oh, absolutely. They absolutely exist. But at the end of the day, it's a dislike. But that is, that does bring up the good point. The real problem that YouTube should be working on, the real, real problem, 
the real problem they need to be working on is false copyright claims, is false copyright strikes, is false community guideline strikes. That system is incredibly sensitive, and to be honest, its accuracy, pretty bad. Its accuracy is dreadful. And they're wasting time debating on whether they should remove that dislike button, which harms no one. You're not harmed by a dislike. Annoyed? Yes, I, ju I agree with the annoyance. But it's not a bad thing. Remember to leave a like and subscribe.